Bermuda has nimbly positioned itself at the forefront of digital transformation and the innovation economy. David Burt has been the premier of Bermuda since 2017 and was previously a successful tech startup co-founder. During Premier Burt's leadership tenure, Bermuda has been rolling out forward-thinking legislation that is attractive to a globally connected business community. Premier Burt, you are a tech founder yourself and have a great understanding of what's going on in the innovation ecosystem worldwide. The Bermuda economy and the country is known as being a world leader in insurance and insure tech. And you're in the process of diversifying the economy away from insurance, but building on it at the same time. What are you most excited about in the roadmap for adding new technologies to the economy? Well, I think my biggest area of excitement is certainly in the area of digital assets. And we look at it from the the digitalization of finance, because that's really what we are going to see. The transition of finance from you know where we were uh, back in the last century to fully digital finance. That's what we did with the Digital Asset Business Act. That's what we did by innovating and allowing innovative insurers to come on island. And that's what we're doing to make sure that we can be the place where global companies who are interested in powering the innovation digital finance can have a home, but not just a home in any jurisdiction, a home in a jurisdiction that has a record of quality, right. that has a record known around the world as being a strong and sound regulator, and we are building on what we have in insurance. I mean, you've got 75% of global Fortune 500s here already. They all need great, talented people to help build their business. How do you think about your policy framework to help ensure you get the best talent in Bermuda? Well, this is something that is critical for Bermuda because as we are known as an offshore jurisdiction by some, the government's vision is to transition to a midshore jurisdiction. And that means that in the budget that we just announced, we are expanding housing policy, relaxing immigration policies, and changing things to attract even more talent, to allow more talent to come to the island, to live in the island, and to help the island grow. Because we all know that there's a global war for talent. We have an amazing concentration of talent in insurance and risk services, but we also want to build an ecosystem of tech innovators. There's a lot of great services and infrastructure already in place, but there's a new wireless carrier that's coming to the island, Paradise Mobile, rolling out a 5G network and hopefully elevating the availability of all sorts of different services in mobile networks and the available technologies. When you think about the regulatory framework to welcome a company like Paradise, what do you think are the few things that really differentiate Bermuda? Well, I think the best thing that differentiates Bermuda is Bermuda's willingness to go beyond, to look at what is next and to make sure that we're ahead of the trends when it comes to innovation and to allow that innovation to come, not to be afraid of saying we are going to try to demonstrate to the rest of the world how you can do it. Because companies at scale for an island as small as we are, aren't going to make a significant amount of money here, but what they are going to be able to do is to demonstrate to attract additional investment so they can begin to scale to the rest of the world. That's what we've continued to do across many industries. And when it comes to mobile and wireless and the future of IoT technologies, that's something that we want to demonstrate here. I would like my entire island to be regarded as a smart city. And it's essential that you have the infrastructure in order to make that happen. The world is paying a lot more attention to the emerging blue economy. And Bermuda seems to be perfectly suited to be a leader in the blue economy. How do you think about your roadmap for the blue economy? Well, the roadmap has been something that has been built through intense consultation, working with international organizations to make sure that we not only protect some parts of our ocean, because I think it's important from sustainability, but also to say, how do we in a responsible way, extract more value from our oceans. And so that is one of the pioneering technologies that we have in our energy regulatory sandbox, dealing with um, wave and tidal energy, which is something that can power um, our future in a clean and sustainable way. That is making sure that we build a sustainable fisheries industry. Premier, you've curated very carefully an, a very strong reputation for Bermuda globally as a center for business and innovation. But there's lots of competition coming up, chasing at Bermuda. How are you going to maintain your global advantage? Well, Bermuda is not going to be everything to everybody. And we know when we recognize that. But what is unique about Bermuda is because we are so small. So we do not need that significant amount of scale. What we can do is make sure that we focus on quality, and that is where Bermuda has always been. That's the reason why we've been able to avoid pitfalls which may have befallen other countries. 
But if persons are looking for a high quality jurisdiction with regulatory clarity where they know that they can say, I've won the stamp of approval in Bermuda, and people will recognize that it's different than in other places, I think that matters.